Hi, this is a very fast run through of the program subsurface. Uh, I'm using it myself for planning my dives. And I'd just like to show you some of the basic stuff going on here. Do not expect to learn everything about all what's going on, but it's just to show you some of the basic stuff and the basic things about dive planning that you definitely should know. So what I'm doing, I'm going in and add a plan dive. I'm going to lock plan dive like this. And now there's a new window appearing. The main areas, just to run through that as the beginning, over here, you'll see the dive you're planning. This is the surface. And while you're diving down, you reach here, you reach 15 meters, you move on. And you can see in this box, there's a lot of different things changing as you're moving your cursor along. I'll talk about that later. Here you end your dive and you go back to the surface again. This one tells you about your cylinder, your tank, the start pressure. I've set it to 220 bars and how when you're using air, you can see there is less air in your cylinder as you and here the end is 108. Down here in the bottom, you can see the air, the blue one here. These are minutes, 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. And you can see your dive time up here is at, now the cursor is at 11 minutes. Now here, when we're planning to end the dive, it's at 20 minutes and so on. You can see the depth and you can see the pressure in your cylinder uh, and so on. I'll talk about this other stuff later. Okay. Up here on the top left, you're setting in the planned dive time when you're planning to start. And then you have altitude, zero meters is the right thing to do, seawater. And here is something very important. In order to plan your dive correctly, the program must know what cylinder are you diving with. This is a 12 liter and it's 232 bars. It means it's a standard uh, cylinder, not a 300, but a 232 bars. You can see the size of the cylinder here is 12 liters. You can see the start pressure. You can actually double click this and say no. I know where they're filling my tanks. They're filling them to 210 bars, like this. Okay. So this is actually telling you, or you're telling the program, what cylinder am I bringing? The dive mode, you see here in, in the bottom as well. You see this is open circuit. It means you're not using a rebreather. So you will be using as a, this is for technical diving if you are changing to closed. So this is open circuit means you breathe in air, you let it out and it disappears uh, of the water column. So that's fine. And you definitely want to be in recreational mode, which means you are not using any kind of deco stops or extra stops. This is within the no decompression limits. And here you have reserve gas, 50 bar. I like to have a 50 bar reserve gas here um, because I don't know how precise my meters are, the SPGs and stuff like that. So we need to have like a safety. And uh, the thing about 50 bars is actually not that precise because 50 bars is very different if you are carrying a 10 liter cylinder or if you're having a 15 liter cylinder. Now in this case, you remember we started with a 12 liter cylinders, cylinder. So 50 bar is like a soft expression. It's not precise. It's 50 bars in a 12 liter uh, cylinder, 600 liters of air. And that's different from if it was a 10 liters, it would only be 500 liters of air. So be careful about using this expression about uh, bars, okay? 
Over here, you have you are setting the sag rate. The sag rate is surface air consumption, meaning if you are, if you were at the surface and just breathing normally, you would be using 25 liters of air per minute. But as we dive down here, when we are under pressure, when we are at 10 meters, suddenly we are using the double of what we will be using at the surface. So we need to calculate that we are actually using a bigger amount of air in from, from our cylinders. And that's what the program can actually do when we're setting, in, setting this up later. So we know here you're using much more air than you're doing here or you're doing at the surface. So that's why we have this recalculation. And this is why it's, you must make some tests uh, on how you uh, or how much air you're using at depth. Um, and it's just about making a dive to 10 meters, stay at 10 meters for 10 minutes. And when you start your dive here at 10 meters, you write down what's the, the, the gauge. Uh, it's a 220 bars. 10 minutes later, you say, OK, now it's down to something else. And then you can calculate uh, the rate you are, are using. OK. So if we go down here again, bottom PO2, pressure of oxygen, the maximum pressure of oxygen. You know, if the oxygen pressure is too high, it actually becomes toxic and dangerous for you. And we are working with a maximum oxygen pressure of 1.4 bar. That's what relates to recreational mode. And you can, without any danger, go a little bit higher, but for safety, always make calculation of 1.4 bar. Okay, I'm sure your dive instructor and the organization where you're taking the, your training, your course, we will be talking much more about this. Okay. Down here in notes, the notes are the details you see on the right. You can display runtime. You can see it changes over here. And runtime is when you start the dive. You see, we, in the first one, we're going down to 15 meters. We're staying there for one minute. The runtime, I mean, uh, time from start to now is one minute. You stay at 15 meters. You can see the arrow. You stay at 15 meters for 19 minutes. So you have now spent 20 minutes underwater. Okay, you see it here. And when you start going up, as you see here, it takes two minutes in this zone. Remember, they have forgotten the safety stop. I'll show you how to add that. And the total dive time is 22 minutes. And it's also showing you you're diving on air to 21%. Up here to the middle left, you can see there are some dive planner points. And the points are these dots you have in here. So you can actually add points in here. There's a little plus sign here. Let me see, like there. And you can actually add some dots to it. So when I go over here, I like actually to plan it over here. I know we're not diving from a boat. I know we'll have a slow descent. We will go down to 10 meters and just remove this one. And I know we'll be doing some swimming or diving around here. We're planning to to go f seven minutes at this depth and there'll be a drop off. We will go down to 16 meters. And from six, we will stay at 16 meters. This time you can see the time down here. Okay. Whoops. And we'll start going back to the surface like this. I'll just add a few more. There might be that we are diving, we are planning to dive, yeah, like this, five minutes around here. And then we'll go up to our safety stop at five meters. And remember in this box here, you can actually see the depth. So where I'm placing the cursor, 
So we can move it around saying we're going to 5 meters. Yep, like that. So we have 5 meters, but at 5 meters, just add one or two more. At 5 meters, we must stay for 3 minutes. Okay. So, so when we have reached the time 50, we want to stay here for you know the safety stop. Three minutes at five meters, and we want to go slowly to the surface and pop up. Okay. So this could be the planning of a dive, but there is always this one big question. Uh oh, do we have enough air to do this? Because this might be the dive we would like to do. And if you now see the green one, the green one means we are okay, we are okay, we are okay, we are okay. But now see what happens here. Now suddenly you're running out of air. So if you are planning a dive like this, you will be running out of air in five meters depth. So over here to the left, if you're planning this dive with a 12 liter cylinder with 210 bars in it, and you're planning to do this dive, it's not possible. It cannot happen. So you must say, okay, we cannot stay down here for that long. Let's change the dive like this. Can we do it now? Now you're green all the time, but you can see the end pressure here. It's only 31 bars. And I think that's not enough. What do you think? As you can see here, it, there are only 31 bars left when we come, when you're back at the surface. This is running, in my opinion, way too close to where you should be. Remember, there should always be enough air for you and your body to surface safely. If you look here, you can see how much air is left. If a problem occurs there, you have 69 bars. Um, you have 69 bars left and you are at eight and a half meters and you want to go safely to the surface. You need one or two minutes to figure out what's the problem. You need to share air and you need to go safely up and you need to make uh, a safety stop at five meters. Let me correct it to five meters, three minutes and go slowly to the surface. And in this dive, if a problem happens just here, you will only have 68 bars left. Okay. So you must plan so you know you at any time in your dive have enough air that two of you safely can go back to the surface. This is very, very important. So do these calculations with your dive instructor, so you have your sack rate, so you know how much air you're using, and plan saying what happens if we're down here at 16 meters, suddenly my body runs out of air, and you can see, oh, oh we have 119 bars left, is that enough for us both to come back to the surface in safety? The reason why I'm not doing the calculation now is I don't want you to have this as a yes, but it said on the website that bars was enough. Okay, I just want you to draw your attention to do these calculations and do them with your instructor and be safe. Because what actually often happens is Tend, everybody, including me, intends to forget time. We are at 16 meters. Oh, there's something exciting going on. Really like, oh, there's something more exciting going on. And you can see over here how your air is disappearing. 
and if the end of in the end of the dive a problem is occurring you can see you're actually here at your 50 bar or 48 bar limit so now you're at 16 meters with 50 bars left yes you can come to the surface yourself but i would call 14 bars running dry because you don't know how precise your meters are okay so this would be way too close to what you ever should be doing okay so be careful about dive planning open this program and try to fiddle around and see what happens plan the dive dive the plan and be prepared for changes all the time because it happens all these when when you are diving you can see all the new dots i've placed in here you can see down here is actually in the dive plan details you can actually see what's going on and it's a very good idea to take these this information down here write it in your wet notes on the slate on your arm so you know yes we are starting the dive at at zero time zero after eight minutes we should be at 10 minutes at 10 meters if there's a anchor or something where it should be after three minutes more you know yes at time 10 we should be here so you know if you're ahead or, or lacking behind in your dive plan and you can actually see and you can make a small note saying anchor brief and so on so we know exactly what's going on have it on the slate on your arm have a copy in your pocket uh, in your wet notes that will help you uh, a lot and be sure that your body have this as well because then if you're in doubt you can always ask um where are we in the plan now okay so spend some time with your instructor work through this and remember when you're diving in team okay you are a team and you're two bodies so yeah just plan and have fun